Hello. Two videos in one day. The bonus. Uh, I joined a swap on minialbumscraps.ning.com that is a Valentine rack, essentially. And um, one of the requirements was a greeting card, handmade greeting card, um, a little bit of bling, some flowers, and an altered project of some sort for your recipient. She doesn't know who she is, so I'm going to try to not say her name. Um, and But I can go ahead and post this now and, and not say her name so she won't know that, that this is hers. But I chose to make an altered picture frame. This comes out so that she can replace it with a photograph or a, a quote or whatever she wants to put in there will will be right for her. It, it's an inexpensive wood frame I picked up at Michael's. I took a sheet of 12 by 12 from the... Um, some glue strings from a recollections pack called Love Letters. I really like it. It's very subtle and, and warm and kind of cozy, I think. And I adhered that on here, cut out the hole, sanded up the edges, roughed them a bit. I took this great wire trim uh, and hot glued and mod podged it on so that it'll um, stay on there nice. Then I took it in this upper left-hand corner. I stamped my big Stampin' Up! script with Versamark and put the um, Perfect Pearls over there so that you can see the, the script real shiny. I did the same thing with the Eiffel Tower over here. Um, then I got started on the flowers. I had a lot of fun with my flowers. Uh, some of these came colored. Some of these came in this um, Mongo pack I picked up at Archivers last weekend all white flowers, which to me is the rainbow in a can. I can make them any color I want, um, which means I can also make my fingernails any color I want in the process. But I dyed some of those up uh, with Adirondack uh, Cranberry Alcohol Ink, um, put them together with brads. Some of them I glued some buttons in the middle. These are some small Prima flowers. Uh, inked up a couple of them. These flowers here came from a, a swap of Life on the Scrap Beach in the Valentine swap. I put a, a vintage button here, tucked some other flowers in here. One of the Tim Holtz, I, I'm not sure what these are called, it's a stick pin with a little eye hole on there. And this is a little die cut from the package that I chopped out. This says Kiss. This came to me in a, in a swap as well and I put some twine on there. This foil bird was is part of the paper collection, and I just left him alone. I thought he's so gorgeous; he doesn't he doesn't need anything at all. This is a style of bottle cap. I found this at Hobby Lobby last weekend. Put a rose, cut out a rose, and put that in there under a glass marble. This flower right here, um, I was just kind of playing. If I can get this to stand, I'll show you. I was just kind of playing with um, ribbon. I found this great card of ribbon from Bow Bunny on clearance. And so I took a, a piece about 10 inches long and just gathered it up in the middle until it looks like this. And then I took a wire cord and just ran it across the center and floofed it up into a little pom-pom. I thought that made a great flower on here. Uh, a little bit of reflections flourish with some bling up here, buttons. So that's my um, secret Valentine. I also made a card, and it, I'll confess it's not my favorite card I've ever made, but I do like it. I've, I've reused one of the corsets I got from the Sexy Mrs. Santa swap in December. And when I started the swaps, I really didn't think through how I would use the things that I get in the mail. Um, and this is this is one of those I hadn't really thought about that. So uh, I cut out this lattice um, in the red with my Cricut, uh, adhered that to a white card base. It, this particular card base already had this nice scalloped edge on there, so I didn't have to do anything to that. You used my script stamp from Stampin' Up and with Versa marker and my Perfect Pearls again. Then I put um, I just splashed a little bit of a pink ish glimmer mist, a homemade one, over the top it takes water to set the perfect pearls. Um, so I liked how that gave it a little grungier look. I stamped especially for you and embossed that and then I used uh, another stamp up here with some perfect pearls over it just to give it a little um, 
a little different look, a little more dimension. And then I, I hot glued, I don't know if I've ever hot glued on a greeting card, but I hot glued this corset on here so that it would hold right. So that's her, her greeting card. And all of her other goodies will go in an envelope and out in the mail to her so she has a happy Valentine's. Thank you so much.